Welcome back to Fix It With Feng Shui Q&A, where I answer your feng shui questions. So today we are talking more about the holidays. So in the previous episode, I talked about how to calm the holiday chaos with feng shui. And this episode is all about choosing your feng shui color based on what it will do energetically for you in the holiday season, because we're bringing in a bunch of different sort of decor into our home, which shifts the energy in our space because each color brings a different vibration. And then watch for part two of this next week, where I'm gonna talk about feng shui for the holiday no-no, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss that either. So when we take a look at color, in feng shui, when you lay the bagua map on the main floor footprint of your home, you find out where in your home the different parts of your life reside, like abundance and relationships and well-being and self-discovery and creativity, which is also communication, uh, assistance, purpose, wisdom, community, and then also your health and well-being. And so in those specific areas, there are feng shui cures that you place in those areas to really get the energy flowing. And one of those feng shui cures is always a color. There's a primary color, and in most cases, there's also a secondary color or colors. And so these colors vibrate with the energy of those particular areas. So in feng shui, when we're balancing the energy in your home, we're adding a certain color to certain areas. It doesn't need to be visible to vibrate with the energy, and then we're adding elements as well. But when it comes to, and then you get this beautiful flow of energy, the feng shui and one, two, three guidebook will tell you exactly how to do that, so you should check that out. But when we think about holiday decor, we already have the energy flowing in our home if you feng shui or if you haven't and done bits and pieces, you've got that energy flowing. And then all of a sudden we're gonna bring in a bunch more decor into our home. And what does that do to the energy? Well, in some cases it really boosts the energy and in other cases there's like too much of it and might become overwhelming in the space, which is what we're gonna talk about in the feng shui no-no part two of um, this Fix It With Feng Shui Q&A that'll be out next week. So. In this case, when you take a look at what color you're decorating with, it vibrates with a different energy. So I like to decorate with the color red. And red is amazing, but red is a very yang color, a very busy color, a very vibrant color. It's about power and strength. It is a color that attracts all energy into your home and life. That's why you use red at the front door always because that's the attraction of that color. If you think about a room and the woman walks in in the red dress, like all eyes go to that color, right? I like to decorate with the color red. I just feel like it feels very Christmassy. But I also know with that much red, and it's bringing in that much yang, busy energy, that I have to tone it down with the water element so it doesn't overpower because you have a lot of yang energy. It's very fiery energy, which means things get a little bit tense. And so it's all in balance. So if you are mainly decorating with the color red, you definitely wanna bring in some water element as well, just to make sure that you're not overpowering and creating more tension in your home, which you don't need during the holiday season. In the comments, let me know what color you tend to decorate with the most, because that would be interesting for me to know. If you decorate with a lot of green, green is this color all about growth. It's also aligned with um, the abundance energy areas in your home. So it's a beautiful way to promote growth in this holiday season is by adding in more decor that is the color green. If you like to use purple, I see a lot of purple holiday decor, that is a royal color. It's an abundant color as well, so that's the energy that you're bringing to your home during the holiday season. If you're more earth tones, which is you know a thing too now, is decorating more neutrally with kind of the creamy tones, um, even light yellows or those kind of earth tone beige colors. That's very grounding, stable energy, very earth energy. And so that's a wonderful feeling and vibe to bring in during the holidays, of course, because it can be a very busy and hectic time. Blue is the color of wisdom. It's a spiritual color. It's a color of peace. And so if you like to decorate with the color blue, that is the energy vibration you are bringing into your home during this season. What color did I miss? I don't know if you do a lot, some people do pink, right? Actually, one of my girls has a, a kind of candy theme tree and so it, there's a lot of pink in it. That's a love color, so that's a wonderful color to bring in during the holiday season. So just know that when you are bringing in these colors in your decor, these this is the energy that you're attracting into your life, which is great. All of it is really good, power and strength, royalty, abundance, growth, um, you know, you take a look at stability, peacefulness, calm, spirituality. White is the color of communication. And so that's a wonderful color to decorate with as well. It's a little bit of a yang energy color too. It's just got a little clanging energy. So making sure you're softening that up 
a little with what you're doing. But using color to shift the energy in your home can be done in multiple ways. You do it with feng shui in the nine areas of your life that are represented by the Bagmo map and the different parts of your home, but you are also doing it and shifting the energy with your holiday decor. So let me know in the comments below what color you like decorating with the most. If you do multicolored, then you have brought in all of this energy into your home. But what I ask you to do this year is knowing this now, what energy do you need more of? So if you are doing any sort of new decorating or decor for the holiday season, think about what colors you're bringing into your home with the energy that is needed in your home and life now. But also as you're placing these things, know that you're creating an energetic shift in your home. So do so with intention, just like you place any feng shui cure, place these colors with the intention of whatever energy they're bringing in. So you can bring more of that into your life. It's adding your mental energy into something you're already doing to create a shift in your home, to create a shift in your life. So use color this holiday season to your advantage, knowing what you tend to decorate most with is the energy that you're bringing into your home and how can that serve you and those in your home during this holiday season. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to ask and I'll catch you on part two where I share with you the feng shui holiday no-nos that you for sure want to avoid.